Hi guys, this is Simon Sage from iMore.com. Today we are taking a look at Smash Cops. It is a new popular racing game for iOS. Uh, it's, uh, as you might expect, kind of a classic cops and robbers chasing game. It's currently going for $2.99 in the iPhone App Store. As you can see, we've got Game Center enabled. Um, the graphics on this game are really, really great. Um, you've got really excellent lighting. Uh, you've got a number of unlockable vehicles that you get just by playing through the single player game here. You start with the patrol vehicle and then I've, uh, I'm up to the cruiser, but there's also the interceptor, the enforcer, and the Brutus. That's uh, kind of a SWAT band. It's pretty cool. So um, the control scheme here is, all, is also pretty cool. We'll uh, jump into one of the games here. You're, uh, you're given a five star rating based on how well you do uh, in terms of time or how much health you've got left, all sorts of different stuff. The control scheme is uh, by default this kind of uh, push based thing. So you, you basically put your finger directly behind the direction that you want the car to go. It's, it's a little confusing to describe, but you'll, you'll see in a second here. We've got a little touch sensor area here. And if we got some cool uh, slow motion stuff there. So what I just did there was I tapped uh, elsewhere on the uh, on the screen with my second finger in order to use the uh, my RAM juice up here. You can see there we go. There's a little meter there that recharges over time. It's, uh, it's good for a nice little speed bump when you need to uh, take out the bad guys here. So uh, there's also a little arrow there on the right side that will show where the other guy is. Didn't quite get the slow mo that time around, but you really got to flip him over. Um, the uh, civilian traffic here is pretty easy to plow through too. I didn't, generally don't worry too much about it. Uh, in terms of the handling, I find that See, right there, I, I drifted a fair bit. I think it's mostly just because of how much gas I had, but um, you can also just like spin right on the spot. So it's it's sometimes hard to tell when you can make a turn really sharply and when you need to give yourself enough time to, to drift. So um, I, I've had some issues with that. You can always switch over to the more classic uh, touch, uh, touch joystick here. Uh, it's uh, it's more or less what you would expect. Um, the gameplay is is actually pretty challenging, especially if you're going with the, uh, the touchpad uh, or the, uh, the the push mechanism there. Uh, and the the sound quality is all right, but you'll notice right now that during gameplay there's really no music. So uh, I mean, the, the considering the the main menu has such kind of cool kind of channel nine news kind of a feel to it. Also, some of the UI elements look like they're they're, they're right out of the uh, right out of the newscast. Um, it's it's kind of disappointing that there isn't something similar to go along with uh, the live gameplay here. Um, beyond just uh, racing down the bad guys here, there's a couple of different game modes, uh, including uh, an obstacle course that has frankly driven me completely crazy, uh, just because the uh, the controls are, are are so challenging, right? Um, Let's see here, so let me just switch this back over to push, and we'll see here, you know, it's, every time I nail what, what one of these pylons, my, my, my time goes down even further, it's, when you're, when you're just kind of plowing through a street, you don't really care who you're hitting, but uh, I've, I've tried that level time and again, and uh, it's been, it's been really, really tricky, so. Um, for for $2.99, this is a pretty uh, this is a pretty fun game. Uh, they they also offer some microtransaction options here. You can buy what are called super cops. Uh, they basically juice up whatever your your current car is. Uh, I've already gotten a couple here. Obviously, only for the pursuit levels. There we go. So it's a uh, 99 cents for three. Also, if you don't feel like uh, buying all or uh, playing through the single player. Uh, game to get all the cars. You can buy the whole lot for $4.99. It's uh, it's not that tempting considering I, I've I've already spent $2.99 on the game, but it's uh it, it's there if you're in that kind of thing. Anyway, um, I I personally dig this game. Sometimes the controls are are a little finicky, but the graphics are fantastic. The gameplay is generally pretty polished, uh, and uh, I definitely have a ton of fun playing this. This has been Simon Sage from Imore, and this is Smash Cops.